Okay, guys, in this chapter, we're going to talk about similar quadrilaterals. And so we have a few examples here. <clears throat> Just want to get you an idea uh, about what similar quadrilaterals are, what they look like. Uh, so we have to go back, whenever we're talking about similarity, we have to go back to our definition uh, of what that means. And so remember, similar means uh, we have congruent angles. So if, two, if we have two shapes here, if we have congruent angles and we have proportional side lengths, then the two shapes are congruent. So here we have uh, two quadrilaterals. Of course, this is a dilation. Um, but we have two quadrilaterals here, and, and quadrilateral A, B, C, D, quadrilateral uh, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, they come from point C over there. And, and these will be similar because um, they fit the definition of similarity. Okay, and that is to say that uh, uh, the angles are all congruent and, and the side lengths are proportional. All right. In this uh, in this <coughs> next picture, um, again we have two quadrilaterals, JKLM and PQRS. All right. So we see that uh, again it's just been a, a dilation. So whenever we have a dilation, then uh, the the shapes will be similar. Okay. Finally, um, here's two more uh, images. We have A and B. So uh, these will be similar as well um, because the, the angles are the same and, and the side lengths are proportional. So I just wanted to show you guys sort of what similar quadrilaterals look like. Um, we're going to do some, some examples in our next video, but hopefully this gave you a decent base and understanding of what that is. Thanks for watching.